Hey guys, welcome back to part number five of my vegan build. Can't believe it's part five already. This thing's going to go together great. Um, it's a little guy. And um, last week we obviously painted it up, so this time we're ready to decal. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, welcome back. So this week, decals. So if you're a regular follower of my channel and watch my other build series, you can probably go ahead and make a cup of tea or coffee right now because, spoiler alert, is that same way as I always do it. So um, if you're new to the channel or first time seeing a decal video, then I'll run it through again with you guys to kind of show you what I do um, in some detail. So I'll do one or two and then I'll go away and do the rest as I always kind of do on these videos. So big fan of these tried and tested method, soul and set. As I mentioned before, I number them one and two, so I know which way they go. Um, the blue is kind of backwards the way it's worded, but the blue basically I put down before the decal. Once I apply the decal, and about five, 10 minutes later, once it's kind of set and not gonna move around, I come back out the soul. So the soul's the one which um, really kind of, kind of beds it down over the panel lines and make it look like it's been painted on, kind of really sticks it down. 99% um, of the time, these two work. If they don't, then the nuclear option, which I don't think I've ever used, to be honest with you, is um, solver set, which I have this handy. So this is really strong, um, and this will help. If you can't micro and set, don't work. Then if in the US, solver set is, um, yeah, alien's blood. So that will pretty much do anything, so I hear. Um, worst case scenario, you can always use um, Tammy Extra Thin, but caution, touch it once and never touch it ever again, um, and it should stick it down for you in a very, very worst case scenario. But this is a brand, well, this is a newer kit. I think it's been out for a year or two. It's not been sat, sat in the attic for 15, 20 years. So we should be good to go with this beautiful decal sheet here. Plus I see in the bottom, just notice it's Cartograph. So those of you, those, those of you guys don't know, Cartograph are um, a company who make decals and they're renowned being the best um, there is out there. They make some beautiful decals, really easy to work with, nice kind of colors and that kind of stuff. Other than that, I have some warm water here. I basically use this ramekin. Um, the only reason I use this like ramekin kind of porcelain thing is because I have a, off camera here, I have a coffee cup warmer, just a cheap one. Um, so for this job here, there's only a few decals, we're not gonna use this, but if you're doing something like a phantom, what is 150, 200 decals, this will keep your, um, the water nice and warm for your whole like, decal session, basically. Just put it on top. Um, this is a really cheap one from Amazon. It doesn't have an auto off. If I was gonna buy one again, I'd definitely buy one auto off because sometimes I forgot and come back to my modeling room the next day and found out my whole thing's been evaporated and it's boiling hot, empty container. So <laughs> health and safety reasons, I recommend getting an auto off if you can. Um, and guess what? It also, it also keeps your, um, apparently for Colin Allen, it keeps your, um, your tea and coffee warm as well as your drinks. So, hey, who knows? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, work my way through here. I always like to start with the, the bigger ones first. So we'll start with the one and zero and move the side tails. Oh, hope we can keep it in the shot. Sides and the one and zero and then the, the Swedish markings and kind of work my way from there. So I like to the bigger ones first and then work my way down to tiddlers or little stencils and stuff, which there aren't many on this kit, fortunately. So I've got this little pair of scissors right here. These are like needle, um, I think they're from Amazon. This one happens to be Om, Omni grid, um, very sharp little like needle, like um, needle, um, like sewing kind of scissors, I guess. Um, so what I'm gonna do is get my sheet right here, and I'm just gonna cut out my decal. And I'm gonna start with number one first. And I always make sure I kind of avoid the little numbers too, because that just gets irritating. If you if you got that and wet it, and it gets stuck in your decal and your kit and stuff, so if possible, I try to kind of cut around those. Just have to deal with it. And I'm just checking, make sure my instructions yet. It's obviously one on one side and zero on the other, so it's two different decals. So there's my one. Um, now, hot water, I know people on the forum and stuff say, oh, you don't need hot water, cold water. I'm telling you from my personal experience, hot water, this thing will get loose in a few seconds. If I use cold water, it takes maybe 30 seconds. So for the interest of time, I just like to use hot water. I just Again, it's one of those things where if you do something that works for you, do it. Um, there's no point changing and that kind of stuff. I'm not, one thing to people, some people do too, is like leave it in the soak in there for hours. You don't need to do that. So all I'm literally gonna do is gonna, oh, let me take a step back. So if you haven't got these already, go out and buy these. These are Tam Tamiya decal tweezers. These are literally one of the best tools I have in my whole kind of tool kit right here for modeling. These absolutely game changer. You can easily pick up decals, move them around, all that kind of stuff. If you don't have them, highly recommend them. Makes it a breeze. So I'm just gonna take my 
my number one, dip it in for like a second or two, take it out, give it a shake, put it in my pla plastic cutting mat and leave it. That's it. I'm not gonna leave it in the soak or nothing. But what I'm doing now, I'm gonna get my micro set to number one. And then look at my instructions, which are off camera a little bit. Let me see if I bring them in for you. Um, and I'm using the panel lines to kind of guess where it goes. So it goes in between this and it goes up here. So I'm just putting a generous amount on where the decal is going to go. That area right there. And by now this decal should be good to go. So I'm just going to pick it up and just give it a little test of my finger. Yep. And again, just seeing kind of where it goes. So kind of lining up with the panel line. So it looks like it's right about here. And I'm just going to slide that paper away from it, from underneath it. And then, this is where it's a little tricky because I'm working with a camera and a camera mount and stuff. So I'm just going to look at my um, my reference picture there and just kind of figure out is that placement of this. And it looks like something like that. Make sure it's straight. I think it is. Sometimes you need to keep touching the stuff for, for hours and not get it straight. Um, it's going to make it worse. But So I think we're good at that. I got the aircraft straight in front of me. Got annoying hair. Get rid of. Um, just maybe a little stuck. Uh, okay, like that I think. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna leave that for, and then come back and do the zero. So I'm gonna get the zero for the other side again. Cut around the number seventeen. I don't want that annoying my. Um, Decal. This one's gonna be a little harder because you got the zero. I'm not sure there's any carry film in something in the middle or not. And there is. Okay. Let's get that dipped. Okay, done. And just you, I just, if you don't use these before, like you know, you're gonna spill like knock these over like at least once every couple of months. So it's always good to have spares. Um, and the zero kind of goes in between this panel right here. So again, just kind of just I think this kind of really gives it some. Movement. Um, sometimes you have decals that will stick down, you can't move it at all. I think using this micro set gives you a little bit of wiggle room to kind of manipulate it, move it around, and adjust it and stuff. Again, beautiful colors on this. Let's see if this guy's ready to go. Nope, a little bit more, a little bit more water. Put the lid on so I don't spill it. If you're in the UK, go to somewhere like umpretail.com. You can buy a nice little like 3D resin um, holders for these guys that knock them over. Um, the US, I haven't really found a nice looking one. I think the UMP ones are good, but um, you can get all kinds. If you go on eBay, you can probably find stuff too, 3D printed. All right, this one's ready to go now. Again, just use my finger just to see how much, you know, make sure it's not sticking. And this one kind of, again, level, and it's just inside that panel line. So. Tricky. Nope. Got it. So then I'm just going to use my tweezers and just nudge it around to where I want it. So again, using the instructions, make sure it's level with the one. So it kind of goes like that. And to me, that looks pretty straight. I'm sure, you guys look on the camera. touch. Just hold this up a little bit just to make sure I got this thing straight. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. Yeah, cool. So that's the second one done. I mean, we're on a roll right now, so I might as well do a couple more. So let's do the 12 and number 12, which is the Swedish kind of marking. Okay, let's cut it out. 
And again, you can see you've got that stupid number 12 in the middle, so I'm going to cut that away so I deal with it when it's wet and peels off. Okay, you put it on the trash can. And with this, I'm oh, locking it. I've got to make sure I get it the right, right, right way around, it's easy for me to say. Um, so it's the two crowns at the top and one at the bottom. Again, I'm just like looking at my placement on here. And it looks like it goes right here and right here. Okay, let's see. Oh. This water's kind of cold now already. I'm not using that warmer, and I, I did heat this up in, in the microwave. Um, about 10, 15 minutes ago, so it's now like break, almost lukewarm. There we go, this one's ready to go. So again, it's gonna be, do one at a time. So this one looks like it's just above that kind of panel line. And if you've got too much water, it's not really kind of maneuvering good. Just take a cotton bud and just take some excess water away. This looks like it's kind of level to the top of the one and right about there, I guess. Let's make sure it's straight. And the other side. Again, see, it's, when I'm moving, it keeps flipping back to where it was. So I'm just take some excess water away. It's just kind of there. We go. It makes it a little bit easier to work with. Oh. I think that's good. Just then make sure it's all lined up. This is a little bit too high now, so it's gonna bring this one back. Again, this is not very riveting watching, just me moving these little decals by a millimeter at a time, but just make sure they're all straight. And that looks pretty good to me. Again, I'm just gonna hold it up just to see. Okay, this is one of those things where you just can keep fiddling with this stuff and just make it worse. I think it's good. So, all right. So we're good there. So what I'm gonna do to my Q-tip, I'm just gonna run over some of these. Now they're kind of stuck down and, get, and just smooth them out. Okay, that one's just moved a little. Okay, cool, I'm looking at instructions again and we're looking in a good spot. So, okay, cool. So that's that done. So um, these have been down a few minutes now, so they're not gonna move so much. So now I'm gonna come back with a sole, which is the red. And this is gonna really kind of pull it into, into the plastic and make it, so these power lines are gonna be visible through the, um, the decal, make it look like it's painted. Just brush it on. Don't go crazy, like put tons of stuff on this. Just brush it on gently. You can always come back and do multiple coats. Again, let's make sure it's good. Okay, um, 
So yeah, so you saw that last one, it kind of moved because I, I was a little bit too antsy with that one. I didn't let it fully stick down. So when I came back and added the sole, it kind of moved it slightly. That's why I kind of like to leave it. You can leave it for an hour or more, several hours you want to and come back next day even and just do this. So it's good to just make sure that thing's just stuck down before you actually apply the sole. Then you're not going to move any decals, have to readjust it and stuff like I just did. So put it down. It's worth leave it now for about 20 minutes. Come back to it. Um, if it's not you've got some silvering or if it's not fully kind of panel line visible for it and come back and do a second coat or a third coat or a fourth coat as many times you want to get those things bedded down and like i said if you don't bed down that's when really you bring out option like a solver set um which can take care of it but these are cartograph decals there's gonna be no problem at all so um yeah let me come leave this um, grab a drink come back in like 20 30 minutes see how we're looking and if so we we'll add some more um solution if not um we'll be good to go so um yeah i'm just checking again make sure we're lined up um so yeah i'll be right back all right, so two days later, <laughs> and I'm done finding a decal. So, when I, as you know, when I first looked through this, I thought I had stencils on. I thought, oh, there's not too many decals on this. They're done pretty quickly in an hour or two. Um, little did I know, there's quite a lot of decals on that sheet. So as I flip through the book here, uh, a couple of pages on, you can see there's a whole bunch more on here. So at least 100 probably. So I was good, and I went through and decaled the whole thing, used every single one on here. Um, and no problems at all. For these little tiny stencils, um, data, I don't use any Microsoft set. I just put it straight down there. But you, you don't need it. Um, so they're all on. And this is how she's looking. Looking pretty cool. So, um, one thing to know is I, I did I like to do a little bit at a time. I don't like to do a whole bunch. Normally, if I work on a bigger aircraft, I do a certain section. Just mainly because when you move the thing around and it's still wet, I don't pull a full bunch of decals with my fingers and ruin them all and stuff. So it's, I just like to do a few at times, so maybe you know, six to ten. Um, let it really dry. Come back later and do some more, and just kind of work for it for out a day or two. Um, so which I, which I did with this one. Um, I think you can really see now a couple coats of micro set and sole. I'm sorry, micro sole, the red one. And you can see the camera there, how you can see the line, the pound line running through the decal. And that's what you're kind of looking for, just to kind of examine the light, you can see. So it looks like it's really kind of painted on, and, and that's what the whole point of that microsol is right there. Um, but yeah, I still remember still this canopy is still the, um, the one we're not using, the real canopy we masked up. Um, and then once we've done painting and stuff, we could, well, clear coats, we can take that off and put a real canopy on. Um, so yeah. So looking really good. Um, the only thing left to do now is just to put down a quick clear coat of LP9, another coat. So we did this before, now we can do it afterwards. This will help seal the decals in. So it means basically when I come back and start rubbing it with oils and washes and stuff, we're not just gonna rip all the decals off. It's gonna, they're gonna stay on, fingers crossed. Um, so little, like I say, little tiny little stencils on here all over. I'm not sure you can see so much in the camera, but you know, all over. Um, so yeah, I'll well, make sure you use this to stick it on. Um, also with these 10 second scale kits too, but I don't always use the stencils. It depends on the colors, like some of like S15s and, and that kind of stuff where it's gray, deca gray stencil decals on the gray paint. You can never, if you can't read it, there's no point putting it on. Um, this one actually some bright, kind of brighter colors and darker on the gray, it's quite visible. So I did that, so like I said earlier, I did put every single one on here. Um, all right, cool. So I think done enough on this video, gone on long enough. So I'm gonna end it right now. Um, like I said, what I'm gonna do is between now and next week, I'll give it a quick LP9 clear coat and then let it dry a few hours and we'll come back next week and we will do the weathering. So thank you for watching as always. Have a great week. I'll see you next Friday. Bye.